<laughs> Get back inside, give them a lot of confidence. So, um, you know, I guess they're probably in a position now where we'd like to be, you know, 12 months down the track where they've got a bit more experience under their belt and they're winning games and obviously they've got a bit of confidence. So they'll be looking at us as probably a notch up a win. But um, it's, it's one that we need to, uh, to win to, you know, give the guys back a little bit of confidence and give them a bit of reward for the work they've put in. Do you feel this is your, your last chance for a win this year? Oh, no, look, we go every week, man. We, we try and win. I guess it's like every other side. I guess you, you think that perhaps this might be our best chance, but, you know, we, we try and set ourselves up to, to win each game. We don't try and be negative and put too many people behind the ball. We try and go out there and attack and try and win games. Have you progressed through the season, do you think? I mean, you've had some, obviously, big loss last week, but yeah. do you think you made strides for it? We think we have, Brett. Actually, yeah, look, Saturday there were things that we did that we hadn't done before and, and look, up to quarter time, I think we were probably 40 points down, but I was happy with the way that the guys attacked the footy. Um, our second quarter really let us down, but for them, after that time, um, a lot of the things that we identified probably three or four weeks ago and we've been working on, we started to do, especially from that back line, just, uh, the way we distributed the ball out of there. Uh, we, we hit targets a lot better and that's probably been the biggest, I guess, improvement over the last four or five weeks is we're now starting to hit targets, whereas before our disposal at times was woeful. So from that side of the side of the ledger, yeah, look, we are improving and that's what we're looking to do each week. We try and take a positive out of whatever negative we've got and make, that, make us stronger overall. What are some of those things that are still letting you down, though? Oh, look... Disposal is probably still an issue, but it's not as bad as what it was. Um, I guess more than anything else, it's just that experience factor. The leadership is something that lets us down when we've got probably two or three guys that we can look at when, when things get tough. Um, we need 12 or 13 of those guys, and you know, you, you'd like to be able to bring one or two first gamers in every two or three weeks and then not have the pressure of having to worry about you know, being the leader. But we're calling on every player to be a leader every week, and, and not all players have developed those qualities yet. Um, so that's probably been the biggest area that we've, we've fallen down in, and, and that's, that's just a lack of games. And until we you know, get another 50 or 60 games under the belts of these young guys, that's still going to be an issue. So, you know, look, we're starting to talk to a few players now uh, about next year, um, uh, more um, senior players to try and bring them to the club and just add some experience to the guys that we already have. Yeah, how do you talk to players about next year? I mean, there is uncertainty, but if you're already talking to them, how do you approach that? Yeah, sure. Look, I guess it's the same way that, that I was approached or the way that I looked at that there's a real chance to actually be a part of something that's really special. That could be very special. Like, we don't know for another, probably in a month where we're at, but still we want to plant the seed with those players if there's a possibility that there could be something really special that they can be a part of. And, and I guess from the other side of the coin too, that the, the club is in a position now where, OK, we're not going too bad, but it'd be great, even if it was our last year, like next year, mm. to show some improvement and be a part of that, you know, and get them in on a one-year contract. And so, well, OK, after that, obviously, you're a free agent to go wherever you like, but to, to give them the opportunity to come back. And it might be players that have played in the country and have got some experience and perhaps might have one year and have a crack at it and see how they go and then go somewhere else. So it's, it's, it's trying to, you know, put positives on, um, on, on, on trying to get those guys in and... And that's what I've been saying to them anyway, you know, be a part of something special and, um, you know, see how well you go. How long have you been involved with senior level football? Uh, I think this is, in terms of coaching or all up? All up, yeah. Uh, yeah. Since, since coaching since uh, 87, oh, sorry, 97, and um, I played my first senior game in 88, so, yeah, fair while. Is this your toughest year you've had involved in senior level? Oh, probably win-loss-wise, yeah, but not in terms of um, pressure that I felt. I've probably enjoyed this year more than any other year because you're, in, you're involved with young kids so you're actually giving an opportunity you can see them progress. So it's, it's actually been very rewarding. Um, some, some years really, really you know, drag on. This year's gone in an instant. I can't believe that we've only got four games to go. Um, it's gone so quickly, and that's that's because you know you're enjoying it every week, and you can you know you're giving guys different things to do, and you can see that they're improving. Um, it's given me the opportunity to to um, I guess improve some of the things that I've done uh, done done differently. Um, I've sort of tried to control everything myself. I've just basically given everything off this year, and I've been there to to help the other guys. So that's been great for me. I've, I've been able to advance in, in my skills in that area as well. So it has been very rewarding, but at the end of the day, we're still trying to set ourselves up for the next you know, three or four years down the track. And that's what we tell these guys. It's all about premierships. We look at guys with what characteristics they've got. Um, if it doesn't fit the bill, you know, come grand final day, it might mean that we flip them off down the path somewhere. But we're looking at them with everything that they do, whether it be game day, whether it be training, whether it be a function, 
but they've got the character to actually perform come grand final day, then the things are actually marking them off. And you don't feel your job's under any pressure at all? You feel you've got the, the green light for, for next year? Look, um, it's it's never been a question at the club. Um, and, and we knew what we were getting into uh, this year. We knew it was going to be tough and it was never going to be performance-based. Um, it would have been great if we would have had a couple of wins up to now, but it was all about developing the young kids. Now, we, we could have gone out and, and you know, opened the checkbook and, and tried to, um, to get a lot of other players in. Um, now, that may have been a waste of money. I would have, and, and my whole um, scenario was to get as many kids in, blood them, build a base, and then we can build from there and add to them as we go. So performance was never an issue, and it's never been a question um, from the board. They've been fantastic. We've had an open dialogue, and, and they're happy with where things are going. So, look, the support that the club's given me has been excellent. They've been very, very professional and great to work with. How do you get the Lake City got such a young group and you know, they have some big things and big losses along the way? How do you stop the bottom falling out with them? Mate, look, we've asked, asked ourselves that question over the last couple of weeks. We actually sat there on Saturday and, and, and we said, look, we can't believe that um, things haven't fallen away, but you know, we, we've still got our 50 on the track uh, most nights. Um, I think the fact that guys have been given an opportunity and you know, someone like Cam, he's, I think he's playing his sixth or seventh game this week, We've given those young guys the opportunity, the experience, and I think that keeps them up and about. Um, and what that does do also is put pressure on the senior guys um, that, have, that have had a couple of years of footy, that they've got to actually pull their finger out and make sure they're on the track and they've got to stay up and about as well. So I think one feeds off the other. Um, so that may be why, you know, a couple of the other things, that they get together with their functions, they've organised their players' trip, they are really good mates off-field as well as on-field. So it is a, a really special group of players. As I, I said previously, there's, there's a lot of uni students, uh, a lot of um, uh, you know, lawyers, you know, accountants, these sorts of guys involved in the club, professional people, um, which is a lot different to what I'm used to. And, and, and those guys um, don't have influences outside of the footy, um, I guess, scenario that, that, that take their, their thoughts away from what they're supposed to do. So look, it's been really easy for me. Um, they've sort of taken care of that a lot themselves the relationships they had with each other. Yeah. Let's move the glass out of the way, Cam. Come in. All right, a few players back this week. It'd be good to have some boys back to shoulder the load. Yeah, um, especially with Reeves coming back, it adds a bit of strength up forward if he wants to, or whatever he's told to do, and um, down back too, especially with Thorpe thought back. Um, Matt Willis too, he's a great kid, like, I can't believe he's still 17, but he's killing it. And um, who else we got back? Benny Bray down back, yeah. That goes well too. How confident are you this week? You haven't had a win all year, do you think this week could be the week? Yeah, well we played a half practice match on Tuesday night and boys were up about then, so hopefully there's a lot of enthusiasm still, so give another good crack this weekend, see what we can do. How much, oh, sorry. So you, as a young guy and being around the group, have you... Morale go up and down throughout the season? Or? Uh, morale, morale's stayed pretty high throughout the whole year. Um, Mo's done a good job of that, just getting the boys up and about, as I've said. And um, yeah, nah, it's good, good atmosphere at the club. Boys get around each other. It's, there's no negativity. There's stuff you need to work on, but it's all fairly transparent. How has it um, been? Has it been pretty frustrating not having a full twenty? It's not having to have a full twenty-two every week. There's always players sort of missing. Has it been frustrating going out throughout the year not having your strongest team on the park? Oh, you get that in footy though with injuries and, and form and, and such and just like flu. Yeah, it's not. From players' perspective, it is. I mean, you try and get your best twenty-two. You know, try and build forward. But no, it's, as I said, it's still not too bad around. The ground. And there's been a lot of talk about the, the licence. Has that had an effect on the playing group at all? Not uh, the uncertainty of the club? Uh, no, the, the board's been really, really um, open about it with the players. Um, I know we talk about we don't talk about it that much, um, apart from the fact we're actually not allowed to talk about it. So <laughs> I can't actually add any, anything further, sorry. So. Thanks very much. Right. Right. Cool. Right. Just stay there, gentlemen, just in chit chat for a moment. I'll okay. go. Extra shots. <clears throat> oh, Charlie, you can. Ah, uh, I don't. Uh, this is games. Uh, five to eight. Hopefully six on Saturday. Yeah. So, uh, and where do you where do you play?
like to the middle on the wing? Or? Um, yeah, through the midfield, resting at the four door on, on the back line. Yeah. And just come up to the cups. Yeah, um, and I've moved around a bit too, just as a kid, so Charles Hobart back through the lineage, handed out notes, so. And Cam's been one of those guys, I guess, that we spotted pretty early that he was he was going to be a guy that we could actually um, take forward, um, and that's why we're we're putting time into him now. But his, I guess, his ability to be able to adapt with any situation, we can play him anywhere, we can play him down back through the middle, through the forward, he can he can do a tagging role if he needs to. So, you know, the fact that he's interchangeable makes it um, you know attractive to us to keep him around the club. So, good guys, you know, we want to put time into guys like this. Um, and bring them I mean, he's been very good in the Colts, um, yeah. and it, he probably got a chance later than what he should. It was just, um, I guess he was competing against a midfield that um, was probably the strongest part of our club at the time. Um, and when his opportunity came, he went fantastic as well. So, you know, he, he went back again and then came up, and uh, you know, it's played the last two or three weeks, so he's been very good. We've been very happy with him. Dan Colby's back. He yes. plays as a South last He did. He's yes. a South boy. Yeah. Yep. Um, he's he's had injuries. Uh, he, he's severely injured his shoulder. Uh, he's missing his shoulder going back against the Colbert in a route back around five or six. Well, I think he missed about seven or eight weeks. Um, he came back and we got a couple out of him. He had um, he missed Saturday through a, a previous. Uh, Arrangement through work, I think. So uh, it'll be good to get him back, and he is one of the older guys. You know, that, he, that shows a bit of leadership. Um, very good voice. Um, you know, directing from the back line. It's um, he does a fantastic job. We've even thrown him down forward. The, the fact that he can actually kick within 55, 60 metres without trying too hard is yeah. pretty good too. So you know, we try and get him up around half forward as much as we possibly can. Get him running off to try and um, kick a few goals. And he did that here against North Hobart in our first game. Actually, I think he kicked two from about 50, 55 out. Very, very late in the game, so yeah, um, yeah, yeah no, he'll be good. Sammy Rees is probably the one too um, that will get back who probably adds more to the side than anybody else. Um, you know, he puts his hand up, he's nearly 10 foot tall, uh, yeah. reaching for the footy, he's very, very hard to get around. And he's, he's one of those guys, he's been used up forward and down back, and he'll probably be back, down back this week, but he's one of those guys that actually earmarked going forward has probably been one of the power forwards of the club. Um, you know, put another five to ten kilos on him, and um, he can build a side around him. So, um, he, it's imperative that we actually get him back and uh, into the fray and uh, get him to lead some of these boys. And he's, he's only a 21 year old too, so that's the exciting thing about this group at the moment. You know, that most of them are under the age of 22 um, and, and, and have played. You know, someone like Sam's played, probably played two or three seasons. So, um, you know, once he gets to 25, 26. Um, mm -hmm. Another three or four years under his belt, he's going to be a very, very good player. Mm -hmm. So that, that side of the coin is very, very exciting. Yeah. Isn't we'll just try to get Rowan Bowen, you reckon? Yes. Yes, he is. Rowan's, look, Rowan's been. Uh, <coughs> I'm, I, you sort of hear Mark someone like Rowan as someone who could be drafted. Mm -hmm. I think he's in, he can play as an overage mariner next year, I think. Having said that, he would probably need some sort of interest from. Uh, from an AFL club to, to get that spot. Um, but look, Rowan's probably a typical big man where he's probably not uncoordinated, but he's still finding his way mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, the good thing about Row too on the weekend, he started to put, take marks around the ground, which he hadn't done before. Uh, and that's a confidence thing, I think, with Rowan. He, although he's 104, 207 centimetres, I don't think he realises that he's as big and has the influence over the game as he, as he actually has. Tapping fantastic, can get his hand on the ball uh, first time every time, and it's just finding his way, um, you know, around and where to position himself. And although you can tell him where to be, there's still that thought that, gee, I need to follow play and I need to get the footy. Mm. So once we can actually get that out of Ray's game and actually set him up to run to the right spots, um, he will he will go very very well. And he started to do that on Saturday. So you know, and, and look, he's played. Six, seven senior games, mm. you know. So he's, you know, he's in his first year of senior footy, but so on that big, um, below his knees, he's very good. He's very, actually very, very quick over his first five or ten, very mm. quick. Um, so he's got some fantastic attributes. It's just, you know, getting that that touch, a uh, bit of coordination, and and, and and getting him to learn where to be. And I reckon he, you know, he'll really impose himself on the competition. That could be, you know, that could be eighteen months down the track. It might take a little bit longer. It might take less time. But um, he's he'd definitely be worth putting some uh, some time and effort into from a 
come and have a full point of view if, if someone was prepared to work on him. Although, you know, these days now it's all ready really made plays and they're picking up. So that, that might be something that actually holds him back for a couple of years. But, you know, once he hits his straps, I think he's going to be a cracker. He's had to go back and look at his, his on the things on the boo against Glenorchy. He's yeah. taking scrams right. And that's what that's what he's capable of. And he's probably after his first week we thought, gee, what have we got here? And he's probably dropped back from that. Mm. But he picked up again on Saturday, so maybe he's you know, he's turned the corner. Yeah. But he's a good kid, he's a lovely kid. So. Yeah.